I use a flip class structure, which uh, the term flip class was coined uh, by some teachers in Colorado and then also again by Solomon Kahn, who has the Kahn Academy. Um, but basically a flip, flip class is you video your instruction. Uh, there's numerous ways to do that. And once you have video that instruction, you make a small little video that the students watch while they're at home. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the first equation on your notes. We have four problems we're going to solve, so we're going to go through each one of those. And that is like 17.778 if you change it to a decimal or some ridiculous fraction. There's no point in doing that. Didn't help. So let's back up. I'm going to get rid of this work. So instead of distributing, let's look at this. If I pretend this is one whole thing, because it is, it's locked inside parentheses. It's like it's in a bubble. That bubble is being multiplied by 5 ninths. Well, I could just divide off the 5 ninths. All right, so the other thing I could do would be divide. Well, if we're going to divide here, that would be dividing by 5 ninths. But all of you should remember that we don't actually divide a fraction by a fraction. That's a complex fraction. Instead, we use the multiplicative inverse property. The multiplicative inverse property says that we should... The idea behind that is you're eliminating distractions. They're watching the video directly in front of the screen. They can stop, rewind, go back and forth in the video, and they write down their notes from the video. And then when they come into class, they work in the same type of group work we saw today, where they work in small groups. There's helpers and there's uh, people asking questions and they try to solve all the problems that they would normally do at home by themselves. And a big part of that is they're working socially, they're working together, they come up with better solutions by talking with each other. Uh, it helps eliminate mistakes so they don't go home, try 30 problems, they do the first one wrong and then they do all 30 wrong the same way. And once they do that, they kind of develop a habit of doing it wrong and then you have to try to get them out of that habit. So it prevents them from practicing mistakes and you can see how they're working and walk around and help and make sure that they're on the right track. Uh, they may not get as many problems done, but they're also less frustrated because the videos only last about 15 minutes and they work on problems for 42 minutes. If you flip that the other way around, it takes you about 42 minutes to get to the instruction because there's disruptions and questions and things like that. And then they go home and by themselves, they work for an hour or sometimes an hour and a half trying to finish those same problems they could have done in class period with a little bit of help. H S squared. Now it's time to divide to get our S H by itself. So I divide by S squared. Scroll down so I have a little more space. I have 3B divided by S squared equals H. H is isolated all by itself. We have finished our problem. Yay. All right, guys. Good luck. I hope you guys are starting to get literal equations. We will spend more time on it. I'll talk to you later. Uh, the students have uh, already completed they're on their starting their fourth flipped lesson. I did all of chapter one as a traditional style uh, in a classroom instruction, but when we got to uh, chapter two, the one they're in now, I started flipping from the very beginning of the chapter. So they were uh, each section they would go home and watch, and then they would come back and do the problems in class. I wanted to get them started with it a little slow. There's a lot of technology things that hit them in eighth grade, and I felt if I started at the very beginning of the year with a flipped class, it would just kind of be an overload of technology and they would they would shut down on it they would not not really kind of approach it with an open mind so now that they've done it I've been getting a lot of positive feedback I mentioned before that I use Edmodo which is a, a social networking site for school they have the ability to post comments on the videos and I and I really suggest them to post comments like the first video they told me I had a horrible ending that I needed to make it better um, then uh, also that I missed an editing. They, they love it when I miss, when I'm going through an editing video and I miss something that I should have taken out. So it's kind of like little perks for them. But overall I have just numerous comments of how they like this better than the traditional style of teaching. Which if you think about it, it might be like an insult. You know, I'm not a very good traditional style teacher, but I also like to think of this way that they, they can understand it through a medium that they're used to. They're so used to looking at screens and looking at video and that's, that's how they communicate. So if you can get to them in that way, then it just maybe looks a little more sense to them. Does everybody see this right here? Yep. Why does that one have to be there? Right, if I multiply by P times one, I get P. P. Okay, then go ahead and finish solving, Sush. Oh, we're out of time, sorry guys. To answer that one, everybody pause for just a second, check your answer. The answer is A over one plus RT equals P. Guys, I'll give you the answers for the other two tomorrow. Flip video tonight. Flip video tonight. If you need your notes, come back during Titan to get them. Nice thing about the flipped lessons is 
if the stu if you don't have time to make a video for yourself between the Khan Academy and other teachers out there, there's YouTube videos. You can find videos that you can use. You just kind of have to tailor your lesson to work around that. That's it. Good job today, guys.